This video is brought to you by SoccerPro.com, bringing you everyday low prices with no membership fees. Be sure to use coupon code SR4U at checkout to get $10 off any order of $100 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the Nike FC247 Lunar Gato 2 in the latest Atomic Orange, Gamma Blue, and Total Orange colorway. Now inside the box, all you get are the shoes themselves. They do not come with any extras. It's so gonna be one second to get these out of here and get this box out of the way. And if you guys could take a second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. So here is a look at the latest colorway of the Lunar Gato 2. Um, just to quickly speak on the colorway itself, the first thing that I thought of, and some of you guys who are also into basketball shoes may have also made this connection, but to me this colorway reminds me very much of the Big Bang All-Star Game LeBron 9s from a few years ago with that orange upper, the blue accents, then what appears to be a glow-in-the-dark sole, but unfortunately it isn't actually glow-in-the-dark. I have already tested it out. But nonetheless, a very, very good-looking shoe. You can see you have two different shades of orange in the leather as well as in the hyperfuse synthetic materials. Um, even the stitching has an accent color of two different oranges. And then, of course, you have your rubberized texture coating, which is also in a darker orange than the rest of the leather upper. A predominantly white midsole with your Gamma Blue Nike swoosh on the bottom as well as on the outside. And then just some Gamma Blue branding right here. It says Hyperfuse, Lunar Gato, another Nike swoosh there on the insole. But for the most part, it is a pretty straightforward colorway and it's definitely going to stand out if you're looking for something a little bit more brightly colored. Now, as far as the overall performance goes, if you would like more information on that, be sure to check out the full written review on my website, soccerreviewsforyou.com, which you can find linked down below in the description. On that same page, you're also gonna find Buy It Now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes to get these at a discounted price if you are interested in ordering a pair for yourself. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below. I want to do some indoor playtest videos very, very soon. I want to know which indoors you guys would be interesting in, or interested in seeing first. I know the Lunar Gato 2 is probably high up there on the list. So whether or not you want to see this one or another indoor shoe first, be sure to leave that comment down below and whichever one gets the most amount of comments is the video I will be working on uh, as soon as possible. Now, as far as uh, the tech specs go, the upper is made from both synthetic and leather materials. The leather spans from this point right about here. It's very, very clear where the leather is on the boot and then covers the entire midfoot. It is a goat leather material and the quality is absolutely incredible. It's probably some of the softest leather, if not the softest leather you can find on any soccer shoe as of right now, period. Not indoor, outdoor, just any soccer shoe, period. It really is that nice. Um, the quality you get in terms of comfort is fantastic. It stretches forms to the exact shape of your foot and it offers a tremendous touch on the ball. And I also really like that they made the entire instep leather because it really doesn't make, make a big difference in the overall feel of the shoe itself. So as you can see, the majority of the leather features a smooth um, kind of untouched finish, whereas right at the toe and basically in the forefoot area, you have kind of a textured rubberized coating area. This is there not only for durability reasons, but also adds a little bit of extra grip on the ball. You can also see that the upper is uh, nylon stitched to the, sole, to the sole of the shoe, so durability and sole separation is not going to be an issue with this guy whatsoever. Moving on to the midfoot, it is made from Nike's Hyperfuse material, which is essentially several different layers of kind of very thin plastic and open mesh that are fused together to make for a very thin, lightweight, supportive and breathable type of material. And because it's in the midfoot, it's not going to have a big impact on your overall touch on the ball, but it does, definitely does its part to keep your foot contained and locked inside of the shoe, as well as allowing for a little bit of ventilation. Not something that you're gonna notice, but it is there, which is not super common for most soccer shoes. The tongue itself is a mesh tongue with a memory foam insert down the middle. Um, it does a good job of preventing any kind of lace bite. and just remains nice and comfortable. The general cut of the shoe is much, uh, very similar, I should say, to the Nike Tiempo Legend 5, where it is a slightly shallower lacing system and you have a lot more kind of open area to make touches on the ball in the forefoot, which is something that I'm personally a big fan of. You do have an internal plastic heel counter here. The heel liner is a synthet uh, actually a suede material, 
with more of a, a padded mesh on either side. Very, very comfortable and does a good job of locking your heel in place. The insole is fully removable, as you guys can see. It's orange with a gamma blue Nike swoosh mesh liner on top. And it's just one single layer of fairly dense foam, similar to what we saw on the Nike GS, and exactly like what you're gonna find on the Elastico Finale 2, which is, of course, another top-end indoor model from Nike. Very good insole, provides some great step in comfort. Moving on to the midsole, you're going to find the reason why this is called the Lunar Gato because it features Lunar Lawn foam from Nike, something they use a lot in their running shoes and even their basketball shoes. It's a very, very spongy type of foam and it does a good job of providing some decent impact protection, more so than you're going to get from most other indoor soccer shoes currently out there on the market. And it's part of my one of my favorite uh, kind of elements of the Lunar Gato too. If you're one of those people like me that doesn't like super low profile indoor shoes, generally that's my preference. Um, I like to have this shoe just because it does have that little bit of protection. And don't get me wrong, it's not going to feel like you're sinking into the shoe. It's not ultra cushioned. It's just enough padding or more so than you would get from a normal indoor soccer shoe to the point where your feet aren't sore after a two hour indoor court playing session. Moving on to the outsole, you're going to have a combination of solid and translucent rubbers um, with varying patterns as well. You can see you have this very long fin pattern. It's a little bit thinner here in the forefoot area and it is relatively pliable. Um, whereas this outside panel on the forefoot features these kind of this kind of dimpled pattern. Both of these patterns do a pretty good job of providing decent traction on indoor court playing surfaces, just as long as it isn't too dusty, of course. But with any traction pattern, if it's dusty, you're going to slide around. You're going to have to wipe your shoes. Um, but for the most part, on a clean court, the performance you get in terms of traction is absolutely fantastic. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as all the tech specs go for the Lunar Gato 2. And move on next to a quick weigh-in so you can see how lightweight these guys are. As far as indoor soccer shoes go, the Lunar Gato 2 is, in my opinion, relatively lightweight, especially considering the amount of impact protection that it provides. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind that this is a brand new pair in a size 9.5 US. I'm going to throw it on the scale, and you can see that these guys weigh in at 9.35 ounces. And for an indoor model, like I mentioned, that is relatively lightweight. Of course, there are lighter models out there, most notably the Elastico Finale 2, also from Nike. But like I said, if you're looking for something that's going to offer more traditional leather feel with plenty of impact protection under your feet, the Lunar Gato 2 is definitely a very, very solid option. All right, here is a look at the Lunar Gato 2s on feet. And from right out of the box, this is an extremely wearable shoe. Not only is the goat leather upper extremely soft and flexible from right out of the box, but give it a couple hours of wear time and it'll soften up even more and stretch to the exact shape of your foot. But like I said, break in time is not an issue here. It's a very wearable shoe, pretty much from right out of the box. I also really like that the Hyperfuse on the outside of the foot really did a good job of securing everything inside the shoe in place when you pull the laces tight while still maintaining a non-bulky feel. In terms of the overall fit of the shoe, it's a very generous width. It's gonna fit pretty much all foot types. And because that forefoot area and the majority of the midfoot is also made from soft goat leather, it has that ability to stretch. So whether you have narrow feet or wide feet, you're gonna be able to get a very comfortable fit out of the Lunar Gato 2. In terms of sizing, this is where there is a small discrepancy. Normally I would wear a size 9 US, but I found that the Lunar Gato 2, much like the Nike Tiempo Legend 5 and Nike Premier, run about a half size small. So instead of wearing my usual size 9, I went up to a 9.5 and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going a half size up. All right, guys, it's it for my unboxing of the Lunar Gato 2. As of right now, personally, this is my go-to indoor model. I really like the soft goat leather upper. It provides a nice premium leather touch on the ball. And the Lunar Lawn outsole is also a personal favorite of mine. And that I do like to have that little bit of extra impact protection for hard, unforgiving indoor court playing surfaces. Now, if you guys are interested in getting a pair of these for yourself, be sure to refer to the full written review on my website linked down below in the description. On that review page, not only will you find the full written review that will give you more details on the overall performance, but you'll also find Buy It Now links with all the best prices in multiple colorways, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes to get yourself some additional discounts if you are interested in ordering a pair of these for yourself, which I personally highly recommend. 
recommend. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.